What's up, nerds? I'm James. And I'm Maddie P. Whitebrock. Solid. And we're a little late to the party, but we just watched Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, the very highly praised sequel to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Big shocker, I know. So, I'll go ahead with my thoughts after we get through Madison. So, what did you think? I thought the graphics were amazing. Um, it was like the best animated movie I had ever seen, and I don't really like animated movies that much. Well, that hurt me a little bit on the animated movies part, but that's, I will say the animation was stunning. I feel like when Sony is really given the reins to just have fun with animation, they go way past the edge of what should even be feasible. I loved watching the, excuse me, the Da Vinci Vulture and then Hobie Brown's entire animation style. I love the cell shading on the Scarlet Spider. And it's just all the different animation styles are just clearly animators having as much fun as they can with it. Uh, who was your favorite Spider-Man aside from Gwen or Miles? Um, uh, Peter. Peter with the baby. <laughs> Dad Peter. I liked that one, or when they showed Andrew Garfield in his time thing. I, I liked the guy, the guy, the, the crude, the guy who played the crude character from the dad. I forgot his name, the Prowler. No, not the Prowler, the other one. He was Spider red. Spider Noir? He was red, red and black. He was the main bat guy. Oh, Miguel O'Hara? Yeah, I liked him. Oh. He's played by the guy from the page. No, that's... That's Nick Cage. He plays Spider Noir, the dude who's all black and white. Oh, yeah, I he like plays Holes. Spider Noir. No, actually, never mind. Holes is my favorite character. The Spot. Yeah, I like the Spot. The Spot was fun. I do like the recontextualization of his character, especially considering for most of Marvel comics he's been a joke, which is even fun that they play into it during the movie. I have to say. My favorite was uh, Pavitra Prabhakar. I really enjoyed him. He just. He stole the spotlight the second he came on. He has such a fun character. I loved Hobie. I may not be a punk rock fan, but I love the punk rock aesthetic and I love how much fun they had with it with the animation. And uh, Spider Punk's story is nuts. So to see them just give it all like the little flourishes in his animation style, and I love how. I hate to say this, he literally me for real when he's like, when Miguel's like, you're not helping. He's like, good. It's like, yeah, that's me, me for real right there. It's like, no, why would I want to help? That's less fun. Uh, what was your favorite part of the story? Um, not the ending, not the cliffhanger at the end. I was pretty pissed. I literally cried about it. I was like, no, I have to wait till the next movie. No, I liked it when he, when Peter comes home and his wife asks him, did you bring a ba our baby on another one of your fights? He goes, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Did I? That was a fun one. Now, my favorite part, and this is because I have been waiting forever to see this adapted, I read Spider-Gwen when it first released, and I loved it. I was so happy to finally see the origin story of Spider-Gwen animated because it is a very very visceral story to tell. And I love its recontextualization of Peter in her universe. And I love just how powerful it is to watch her origin and understand just what makes it so messed up. And it's for what they had to adapt, which is a lot more drawn out and explained in her original comic run, they did really well to abbreviate it. And her dynamic with her father is just very powerful. So, who is your least favorite spider person in this? Everyone that was not used. All the other Spider-Mans. Except, except, except for Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and Tobey Maguire. You like them? So, so you like Tobey Maguire Tobey now. Maguire is okay. Agree to disagree. He's right, not disagree. the best, but he's not the worst. So you didn't like Ben Riley, the, the muscle man? The look at my beautiful muscles. You didn't like that? You didn't mm. like him? No. You but didn't I, like I, Spider Bite? I liked the Indian man, the, the Indian one. 
from Vitter Probacher? Yeah, he was pretty funny. I read his comic book, and it was, it, it, he was even funny in his comic book as well. You disappoint me. I'm kidding. You're all right. I will say, what was really fun was seeing the, the, the finally, the adaptation of the live-action Prowler, who was Donald Glover. It was so cool to see that. Um, a lot of the lines were really funny, just like great quips. I was not expecting the dialogue to be the way it was. And you can tell the writers really had fun with this. I saw PG come up when I was watching. It's like, oh, okay. And then it's like these very hard hitting lines. It's like, okay, then. My personal favorite was when the spot leaves a spot in uh, Moombatten. And uh, they're like, what is that? And Hobie's like, it's a metaphor for capitalism. It's like, that's not how that works. But aside from that, overall, what was your absolute just favorite want to see their own story spider person just overall i think i think Hol holes needs his own story or comic book because he was never in the video game once and now seeing the new video game that came out on ps5 he still wasn't in it and i think he needs his own video game number one and it was funny when the bread fell out of him because that, that was super funny, and I was laughing the entire time the answer was. So what I'm hearing is we need a, a movie called Bagel, The Incident. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun.